Costco here, and in this video we're going to perform an experiment that links work and kinetic energy. And so to do that, we're going to use our smart card again, um, but in this video, actually we're going to use the force sensor on the smart card. So if you can see here, uh, I've put a hook on the smart card, might not be able to see, and then I put a string on it, connecting it, and so actually when you pull on the string, um, it applies a tension to the cart, and the cart will actually measure uh, that tension that's being applied. So I'm going to take my cart, uh, I'm going to make it a little bit heavier by adding some weights on it. I, I'm going to, I connected it to a string, and at the end of that string, we're going to assume this is an ideal string, of course. At the end of that string, I have a mass over here um, that I'm going to hang over a pulley, and as the mass falls, then there's going to be, a, it will apply a tension on this on the string, and that tension will pull the pull, uh, pull the smart card. And so the smart card, we're going to be measuring the tension that's being applied to it, uh, as well as the uh, displacement and its velocity. Um, and then it's up to you guys to compare and connect and to see what kind of uh, connections uh, we can get uh, uh, by analyzing the data and hopefully you'll come to the conclusion that the work kinetic energy theorem is correct and you'll discover the work kinetic energy theorem. Uh, but that's at the end of the experiment. And so to start off the experiment, first thing I need to do is actually weigh this guy. Um, so this entire cart, you want to be able to calculate the kinetic energy of the cart so you need to know its speed. You also need to know its mass. So I'm going to put this over here. Hopefully it'll stay still. All right. And its mass is 1,250, so its total mass, or 1,250 is the total mass, right, 1,250. So that's the mass of our smart cart. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to weigh the mass of this uh, whole weight apparatus. Um, even though we're actually going to measure the tension, we're not going to calculate it, uh, but as I said, just for fun. And, it's, and the weight, or the mass of our weight, is 151 grams. Um, I guess the string is a one gram because it should be 150, but it's 151, 151 grams for the weight. All right, so done with our scale. Uh, we got our smart cart, our heavy smart cart, uh, connected a string to our weights. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Oh, one thing I want to make sure to do is that whenever you use the force sensor, you want to zero the force sensor right before you use it. Um, so I want to make sure that this string is not taut. There's no tension in the string at all. And I'm going to go over here, and the force sensor is already close to zero, uh, but I'm going to zero it anyways. Uh, there we go. So we have our force sensor is zeroed. Um, uh, position doesn't quite matter. We're going to be looking at displacement anyways, and velocity is pretty, pretty small. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my mass, put it over the pulley. The pulley is... Uh, uh, fairly level, which is good. The string is level. And then I'm going to bring my mass over here. Um, I want to get as much displacement out of this experiment as possible so that you can look at multiple positions. Let's see. So I want it to be still. Um, all right. Start at zero velocity. And we're going to hit go. All right. So uh, let's see what we got. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, you can see the force, um, this tension is, is pretty constant during the motion, right? You want to, you can see here at the beginning, the first, what, 0.7 seconds is when I was holding it. Uh, so we're going to ignore that, but we want to look at where, where it's actually in motion. So take a look at this displacement, choose various points in the displacement, look at its velocity, uh, find an average for this tension, uh, all of that's in the lab document, and then from there, um, see what the connection is, uh, if there's connection, hopefully there is, uh, between the kinetic energy, kinetic energy of this guy and the work that's being done on it by this tension. Alright, so that's it for our work kinetic energy uh, experiment, so I'll see you in the next video.